Hi, everyone from Level Survivor. How are you doing? Today we are studying Psalm 121 together and sharing the grace that the Lord has given us. The economy is really bad right now. Korea's per capita income has barely surpassed $30,000, but there are still many people in our society suffering from poverty and disease. Among my Facebook friends, there is a woman pastor who serves a pioneer church in Gyeongsan, Gyeongsangbukdo. The pastor whose last name is Che is a poet. Not long ago, I saw the self copy the pastor Che posted on Facebook. The poem titled Do You Know is starting to look like this. Do you know the deep anguish and gloom of life? Do you know the unspeakable misery, loneliness, and the cries of a bitter hearts that cannot be expressed? The tears that flow from the face of the Lord raise me with a deep struggle of my soul. Is the sea of my life a wash with rain from the wrestling of hardships? The pastor recently posted her citation on Facebook with a post titled, to be afflicted is a blessing. My eyes were red with shame and embarrassment when I read the minister's writing. Even in this terrible pain, she can be so proud. What is faith that keeps this pitiful woman pastor so proud and so beautiful? She lost his esteemed teacher and the pastor to illness. The pastor said that his lungs were reduced to one-tenth the size of normal lungs, and that he was shrunk by 130 centimeters tall, and was held in the arms of God 40 days after being hospitalized. She said she had spent more than two years working with her teacher. Because of the shock, she studied theology and received the ordination and undertook the church which her teacher served. By this time, her husband, who was a missionary, was hospitalized due to the horses of the river. Peter Che had an indescribable pain in nursing her husband. She didn't have time to take care of her sick husband. Six months passed so quickly, her beloved husband breathed his last breath and died while the church and his family watched it. Pastor Che testimonied how composing the melody of hymns came from the record when he went to God. The hymn is so good that it still hangs in the ear of the pastor's ear for a moment. The hymn is the Psalms, chapter 121. There is a hymn titled, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Pastor Che listened to the song as his husband closed his eyes. And she testimonies like this. How much I was grateful that God made a sinner like me a people of heaven and that I was able to care for those I loved with joy. Isn't it amazing? Although we say that we live by faith, I don't think we can compare with pastor chair. The pastor has suffered a terrible pain that cannot be said by words, and he still suffers. But she never loses his joy under any circumstances. It's because he has a strong faith, but most of all, worship and praise like Zan, chapter 121 is a great comfort. You know Zan 121, right? The song was not composed by a foreigner, but by a Korean named Zhang Sang Sir. The Korean title is 하나님은 너를 지키시는 자. 하나님은 너를 지키시는 자. I will sing this song in Korean. I'll put the English lyrics under the Korean. All right, now. Won't you join me in this place?
하나님은 너를 지키신 자 너의 우편에 그늘 대신이 낮에 해와 밤에 달로 너를 해치 못하리 하나님은 너를 지키시는 자 너의 활락을 면케하시니 그가 너를 지키시리라 너의 출입을 지키시리라 눈을 돌아 산을 보아라 너의 도움 어디서 오나 천지 지우신 너를 만드신 여호와께 천지 지으신 너를 만드신 여호와께로다 아멘 할렐루야 Why the gracious worship in the place? If you don't like the church, try to sing this hymn many times, the church will be better. If you don't like the pastor, try to sing this hymn, the pastor will get better again. If the Bible is boring, sing this hymn, you will love the Bible. Sing this hymn three or four times when you are frustrated by hard and difficult things. Surprising, a sad and a fearful heart will disappear and the life will be filled with joy. Make sure you do that. God will bless you. He will protect you and save your soul from all the troubles. Hallelujah! Today, have a day of victory by facing the grace of Jesus Christ. Thank you.